my gosh. Damn, Isa Cruz. We're going to get you a replay of that. Second round stoppage. Isa Cruz stops up and Eduardo Ramirez in the uh, chief support of the undercard of Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz. The main event is next. Sat him right down in the corner. Jeez, hold on. Let me mute this. Yo, this card, I, 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 I had a feeling that this card was going to be good, but I didn't know it was going to be like, you know. For example, um, I was really looking forward to um, uh, Rayo um Valenzuela taking on Jezreel Corrales but that was replaced with Edwin uh Santos and he knocked the shit out of in one of the upsets of the year uh of Rayo then you have Abner Maris and Miguel Flores fight to a draw but overall I like the way Abner Maris looked and now you have Isak Cruz which I thought I kind of figured this fight was going to be the one that I was least interested in because Eduardo Ramirez just two fights ago fought at 100 and 30 pounds three fights ago you know last year in may of last year he was at 126 this fight took place he's a natural from what i'm looking at 126 pounder no way he should have been at 135 pounds in my personal opinion so he gets brutally stopped by um Eastside cruz in round number two and yeah that didn't last long at all and shout out you know to sean gibbons because his fighter's been you know like really going through some things lately um and losing and you know losing pretty bad so Eastside cruz is the number one guy you got german and cajas taking on um fernando martinez again let's turn it up and there's chris there's Cr Ariola, my man <laughs> and he looks great right now chris he does and uh, i went over and said hi to him he texted me that he was in the arena and i was what and i went over and I even, said, oh, even chris Ariola is horrified by the violence exactly we want to get you a replay <laughs> And I want you to Chris see, middle name is, like, he came out like a bat out of hell, of meaning um, uh, Isai Cruz uh, with the body shots. That's a tremendous performance. It's good to see Ramirez is okay. Yeah, because uh, you know, Ramirez... Like, and you just heard him. Shit. He was asleep. Exactly. Right on his fucking face. Look how he leave. And he act like he was going down, then came up. But that was a shot he hit him with earlier in the fight. Oh, this is a stoppage. Yeah, well, at this point, he's just running for his life. He's He's not sure where he's at. Cruz is just hitting him at will. He's just trying to find the right Watch this. punch to hit him with. And it's going to come up pretty soon. And it's a left hook right hand. And there it is. And then another left hook right hand. So he hit him with four clean shots right there. Jack Reese, the great referee, uh, waved it off there. But gave, gave Ramirez a chance. You know, his, you look at his eyes as he's on the bench like a shark attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not, not a pit bull. Yeah, yeah. He's going to push him off. Yeah. And, and watch this. And he's looking down, but he go up. Well, he was you see that? This point, so, you know, Cruz could have done whatever he wanted with him. Uh, but now it's going to be next for Isai Cruz. Right hand, left hook, right hand. Maybe him versus yeah. again, over Gamboa, Magdaleno. Yeah. Santos. Ramirez was not, you know, stable on his feet right there. So Ooh. he was a sitting duck. Jack Reese gave a chance. I think that's the way to go. Him versus Santos, the guy who had beat um, uh, Rayo earlier. That's the way to go. You know, um, because I don't think it's going to be Tank Davis next. Tank Davis may be fighting uh, Ryan Garcia in December, hopefully. So maybe there's Tank Davis right there, by the way. He's got those teeth iced out. <laughs> well handled. He's taking it as a good spot. You know, and they booing him. It's in L.A. Right. Well, it's, of course it is. It is in his fans. Yeah. You know, yeah. But look. I mean, he's having a good time with it. He knows he so, you know, um, that's something that they'll hold in their bag. Um, Tank versus Isak Cruz, too. But as it stands right now, I think Dos Santos, and we look, and we're looking, he's creeping up on the title shot. Um, he's very close to being 
a mandatory for at least the WBC. He's ranked number three by the WBC. Um, number 11 by the WBA. Number four by the IBF and number three by the WBO. So don't be surprised if his next fight is going to be for an interim or a um, final WBC eliminator. Second round stoppage. Boy. So I wonder if they're going to give him a post-fight interview because so far for the opening fight on the card, we didn't get an interview with um, Edwin um, um, De Los Santos and we didn't get an interview with Abner Maris or Miguel Flores. And now, yes, I see a Heidi Andral in the ring. Look like she's going to interview Isak Cruz. Let's turn it up. Listen in. Heidi Andral standing by. Go ahead, Heidi. Thank you very much, Brian. Isak Cruz, congratulations on another victory. This crowd went wild. I know, I know that, oh, there they go. What do you want to say to these fans here tonight, Isak? Lo prometido es deuda. Creo que le vino a cumplir a la gente de Los Ángeles. Y por eso exigimos la revancha contra Germonta Davis. We want the rematch with Germonta Davis. Uh, these fans have been great, and that's why, um, you know, they came out, and I, what, what I promised is a depth already, and we did it tonight. Javante shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. <laughs> if, if he does not agree to this rematch, is there, I know there's some other champions out there. Who would you like? See, Javante Davis no quiere la revancha. ¿Qué otro campeón tú te quieres enfrentar? Debbie Haney dijo que ese es el campeón. Hagamos la pelea, soy el interino. Hagamos la pelea, Debbie Haney. Let's bring on David Hain and he's the interim champion. That fight ain't gonna happen. So let's bring it in. You were locked in yesterday at the what? weigh-in and you brought that savage entertainment that we love out of you, Pitbull Cruz. What was the game plan coming in and did you know that this would go exactly as it happened? In the cara cara y en la conferencia de prensa estaba como un salvaje, estaba preparado para pelear. Que cuál es cuál era el plan para esta esta pelea? He ganara como diera lugar por mi esposa, por mi hijo. Y bueno, aquí estamos. Y bueno, qué mejor hacerlo ante la toda la gente de Los Ángeles, California. I was ready to win it at all costs for my family, my wife, my kid, and what best to win it for here in front of all the LA fans that are with me. You know, it's your son's fifth birthday coming up this week, and you've got a new baby at home. You're going to go to Disneyland. Go enjoy it. Que vaya a Disney a gozar con tu hijo que cumple cinco años esta semana y el más chiquito también. Totalmente. Y les dimos un un gran comienzo de las fiestas patrias y que viva México. The Mexico. Just gave him a real nice opening for the Fiesta Prata uh, in Mexico. Very good. Thank you so much, Isaac. Brian, we'll send it back to you. Heidi, thank you. Let me just. All right. So now the main event is up next. So looking at the rankings, as I said, you know, he had a chance to fight Ryan Garcia, but you know, poli politics stopped that. Um, in my opinion, he had no business fighting um, in Duardo Ramirez, just my personal opinion. But. I'm looking Gustavo Limo, see if they can get their hands on him. Um, fights that are realistically that that could be made politically. Fucking no, not Javier Fortuna, Michelle Rivera or the guy who had beat uh, Rayo earlier in um, Edwin um, De Los Santos. I think that's the way to go. Um, I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com and the FightView360 Boxing Podcast. You can um, follow us on Twitter at T-Street Controversy. And um, yeah, take your time out, like the video, subscribe. I'm exhausted, so on to the main event. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.